Hey guys, Cool Brick here with another custom mock. This is a garbage truck which uh, I was inspired to make by the uh, Lego Movie Trash Chomper set. I really hated their version of a garbage truck, um, even though you know they did have to make it from parts from a trash trash chomper. I still just I I did not like the way that they had done it. So um, from that, I was also inspired to make my own, as well as having um, pieces that were much better suited to make a garbage truck like these brown ones in the back. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is my spin of a garbage truck. At first glance it does look pretty similar to the one from the Trash Chomper set, but uh, as you'll see there are a lot of differences in here. I just happen to use a lot of the same parts. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess I'll first give you guys a 360 view. Uh, this is the front, very simple. You have grill. Uh, headlights indicator. It's got the guy in there, some details in there which we'll take a look at later. Um, pretty simple shaping on the sides. Uh, more grill pieces just to add texture. Uh, the back, uh, there's stickers uh, on these pieces that are nice. I like these. Caution sticker and something that actually does say caution. Uh, you got brake lights and indicators. This bit here is a bit fragile, it tends to pop off a little bit. Um, and then the right side is almost exactly the same, except for this one gauge here. Other than that, it's exactly the same as the, the left side. Um, yeah, and we just got some mirrors, smokestacks, horns. Very simple. Um, so yeah, let's get into the functions of this thing. Uh, as you can see, there are pistons. Now, there were pistons on the trash chopper set, but they did not actually move or do anything at all. These ones, that was one of the goals I had. Actually, I think that was the very first goal I had with this garbage truck. Uh, there were a few main things that I really wanted to do with this truck. I wanted to use the round pieces on the back. I wanted the back to open, and I wanted pistons that actually worked. So, here we go. We have pistons that actually work. Um, now, this kind of fits. There are some gaps in here, but I did my best to close everything up. I've just got some more warning lights, I guess on the uh, actual opening bit. Unfortunately, this part does stick out a little bit on the top, but I did have to have that in that fashion. Um, so anyway, I did manage to close this up for the most part. Um, so yeah, I can open this up, and it's quite simple. Uh, it just took a, bu a bunch of trial and error to uh, get the angles and everything correct and to make it work. There's nothing going on on the inside. There's just some bricks and stuff that I used to build up the core of this truck. Um, it's quite a smooth action. Uh, it is manual though, you gotta actually pick up this thing, there's no gearing or anything that you, no knobs that you turn to make this thing go up. So it's all completely manual, but I am really really happy that I got those pistons to work. Uh, the mechanism for this is pretty similar to the one of the trash chomper, if I can uh, kind of show you guys the inside of that. They're just two uh, beams, and this uh, thing rotates on two axes, uh, so it can go like this, and it can also go up and down like that. Um, and the combination of both allows it to get this fluid movement. Um, so again, that part's a bit similar to the trash chomper. Um, as far as detailing, uh, you guys already saw the sides and everything. So, um, the last part of functions, I guess, is in the interior. Uh, the interior is actually kind of fragile, or I guess the cab section. Obviously, we have these opening doors, that's all good and nice. Um, but uh, I use some sketchy building techniques on the cab. Uh, as you can see, there's some sideways building on here, um, in, in here. So you can see that. Uh, and then to actually get that to work, I had to do some sideways building on the roof of the cab. And so because of this, I made the cab, the top of the cab, not easy to come off, but you just pull on the front. whole front section comes off, so that's how you get access to the minifigure, who is offset. I did have to use jumper plates, though. Um, I didn't want him to sit in the middle, but he couldn't go all the way to the right side because his arm would hit this brick back here. Um, now you can kind of see the sketchy building techniques I was talking about, uh, the way I attach these. You can see... I did it like this, so not exactly uh, the strongest way to build. See, everything's just coming off now. 
Um, but it worked and it uh, fit in the small space that I had to uh, build the cab and everything, so I'm glad with that, that working out. Um, and you can see, as usual, my interiors are actually quite nicely detailed. I have the steering wheel, a gauge, coffee mug. Very important to have that coffee mug. What's he going to do if he doesn't have his coffee? He's not going to be able to drive. Um, yeah, that's the front. So, uh, nicely detailed interior of the cab. Uh, very easy to push this on and off. Take it on and off. So, glad about that. That part's easy to, to mess with to take on and off. You just gotta be a bit careful with the top of the cab section. Uh, other than that, yeah, this is this is the garbage truck I made, so um, you guys can say what you think about this mock, and as always, thanks a bunch for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.